Hey, top of the morning to you. It's a good day, is it? What kind of day is it? It is that. A good, it's always good when we say good morning to you, especially on a Sunday morning, you know, because the sun is up. <laughs> hey, proud to have you all attending. Wow, what a good attendance this morning. Isn't it nice to know that our minister is going to talk to you young folks today? Have you seen his message? I wish my date would. Now he's gone to meddling. <laughs> hey, we're going to all enjoy this. Uh, today is the first day that the forecaster has said zero percentage of rain. You know how long it's been? Nine consecutive days at my radio station. And I, I had uh, one of you folks ask me this morning how much. I don't know on Sunday morning because I don't go near that radio station on a Sunday morning. But I'll be there bright and early in the morning and check it out and I'll wager it's over six inches. It's just, just a wager on my part. Gee, hey, we got a lot of wonderful things for you. And isn't it nice to know that you can pick up a church bulletin and you can find out things that you had no earthly idea took place among the congregation of our church. For example, who knew Lloyd Darnell had fallen and the pest control man came by and saw him because he had a broken hip. She, the last member of our congregation to broke a hip was Gloria Collins. She's doing a whole lot better now. And, and we know that Lloyd's going to, but make a little correction there. I found out in Sunday school class this morning that instead of going to Owens Crossroads over there where Dave rehad, uh, he's going to Albert. Okay, that's the only change. Otherwise, everything else is true, isn't it, Margie? Okay, very good. And, and we, we love, Lisa, the work that you do on this bulletin. Make no mistake about it. Uh, got a, uh, a fill in there for the communion this morning. Always depend on the doctor. Thank you for worshiping with us at the Guntersville Church of Christ. Galen is going to lead our singing this morning. Here he is on this side. You fool me every time. Yeah, come on up, lead us in a real good song. Hey, join in and let's enjoy worshiping our Maker. Thank you. We shall
Father, we are truly thankful for the opportunity you've given us today to worship you and to come to your house and learn more about you. And Lord, we're mindful of those that are mentioned in the bulletin uh, that are sick or are struggling. Uh, and we're also mindful of all the unspoken prayer requests that each one of us have. And we just ask that your will uh, be done in each one of those situations and uh, may it bring glory to you, Lord. Lord, we're also mindful for all the men and women who, are, who have fought and continue to fight overseas for our freedom. We ask that you uh, continue to watch over them, keep them safe, and bring them back home safely. Thank you, Lord, for everything that you've blessed our lives with. Uh, we ask that you, um, as we listen to the lesson this morning, we ask that you, uh, you prick our hearts and help us to take something from the lesson, Lord, and share it with others and help bring them closer to you forgive us for all the many sins lord and all the many times that we've failed you it's in jesus name we pray amen
Let's pray. Dear Lord, thank you for uh, letting us all be here this morning to worship you, and uh, thank you for everything that you have given us. Please uh, bless this contribution and let our leaders use it in a way that will uh, further your kingdom and be pleasing to you. And please be with us as we go throughout the rest of this worship this morning. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. beg your indulgence today as I'm going to share something with you that's very personal to me. 
This, um, this past week marked the anniversary of my mother's death, 19 years. My father's been dead for a number of years, 30 plus years. And although I drive by frequently the place where they're buried, I seldom stop. Now some of you may visit the graves of loved ones quite often, but I don't know. It's just, I find it hard. I find it difficult because when I look there at that plate of that name of that man and that woman, it, it creates in me a real hollowness and loss that's hard for me to sometimes deal with. And I'll tell you, the last time I did stop, and I stopped by and I, I stood there for a moment and I looked at, the, at their grave marker and I just had to sit down. I sat down on the grass and I was um, just thinking about life and how brief it is and death and how final it is. And as I sat there on the grass, something stung me. I don't know if it was an ant or a bee or something. Something just stung me. And so a verse came to mind from 1 Corinthians 15. It says, when the perishable has been clothed with the imperishable and the mortal with immortality, then the saying that, is written will come true. Death has been swallowed up in victory. Where, O oh death, is your victory? Where, O oh death, is your sting? The sting of death is sin, and the power of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, He gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. And I'm grateful that I got stung. <laughs> because in that sting, there's a reminder Yes, this world is a bad place. There's sorrow, sorrow for the sting of sin that has infected this world. You see the actions of other people that are just so mean and hateful, and it just, it, it's really disturbing. But then I look in the mirror and I see in my own life, my own sin, that I, I'm not who I want to be. I don't do the things I want to do. I left undone the things that I want to do. It, and then it all ends in death. How sad is that? Were it not for the emblems before us and what they represent, this would be a very sad and very sorrowful place. But you see, it's, this is not a celebration of the death of a martyr. This is the celebration of a victory of a savior. And the central to the gospel is what these emblems signify. My sin, your sin, the sin of the world, erased on the cross. And the sin that has ushered death and decay into this world, now that death and decay has no more power because the grave has already yielded its first fruits and we will follow when he comes again. What a wonderful thing it is in the face of all the sorrow to say, I will see their faces again, glorified faces, not faces marked with age and sickness and disease, but glorified faces. And one day my face will be beheld, not the face of, that tells lies or the face that, that is uh, afraid or fearful or unfeeling when it should be feeling but the face that is indeed made in the likeness of our Savior that's what we're looking for I don't like bees because they have stingers I don't like wasps they have stingers but butterflies hold no terror to me at all you see what he's done you see what he's done he's taken that grave and taken the stinger off of it and turned it into a butterfly. Father, how great is indeed your love for us that our sickness and our sin 
and our sorrow provoked your mercy to send Jesus to die for us. His body on the cross is the emblem that we use now to, uh, the emblems recall that body on the cross for us. And Father, we give you our thanks. It's the best we know how. In the name of Jesus, amen. Let's give thanks for the cup. Father, for the blood of Jesus that washes away our sins, the blood of his perfect sacrifice. For the blood of the covenant, for the blood that gives us life. In this cup, we give you all the thanks and the glory in his name. Amen. 